What is up everybody? My name is Rookster and welcome to another video. Now this is a review video, another one, and I'm not apologizing. I don't know why I said that. So what are we reviewing today? As you saw in the little opening sequence there, we are reviewing this. A vest, another vest. This is the, well, let's open it up. This is the Viking Psycho Reflective Vest. Uh, they got really imaginative with the name. There's not really much you can call a reflective vest other than either a high vest vest or a, reflect, or a reflective vest because you know it's it's a reflective vest but it's it's actually pretty nice uh it's textile it's not leather uh i know viking cycle mostly has leather stuff but they do have some textile things um the but yeah it's got some pretty interesting little features to it it's got a zipper in the back and i'm kind of curious as to what it is it's a pocket it has a pocket in the back so I'm assuming you can put some uh, some um, stuff in here, like a uh, armor or impact, something to protect your back, because you know vest it doesn't really have a whole lot of protection to it. As I went over in my previous video of the um, the garter vest. Let's see what this thing's made of. So I got a large because they were out of extra large, and I need that length, you know, giggity. So uh, it's pretty. Pretty nice, actually. Well, this comes off. This is a little uh, container for like your wallet or uh, ID cards. It's got a little snack in here, the you know silica gel, do not eat. I took this off and my problem with taking these off is I, I can never line them up just right. Hey, I did it. This one comes off as well, but I'm not gonna take it off. This one's good for like badges, for you know, the one who wants to be 12. As far as pockets and stuff, that's pretty much all it has. It does have this inside pocket here, which I enjoy these inside pockets right here because uh, cell phone and stuff, it's a good spot for them. No pocket on this side. It is adjustable, fully adjustable. You can see uh, and it, it's separated right there. So if I took this off, it'd be gone. Pick it up. Ah, there's some on the floor behind me. Not bad. I look like a police officer. So, let's get on the road. Ride around with this thing. But it's really reflective. It's that gray reflective stuff. So it's it's really reflective in like low light, which is nice. I like that. I will say I'm not a big fan of these, so I'm gonna have to tie them up so they're not like whipping my ass So, uh, yeah. And this, the neck, okay. <laughs> I was wondering why my neck felt so comfortable. So on the neck right here, the, the, the collar is a really soft, really soft foam. It's really comfortable. So let's get on the bike. So I may get some comments while I'm doing this little review here. I'm doing a short ride because it's supposed to rain soon, but get some footage of me riding on the bike. But the comments are going to come from that. <laughs> What's up, little guy? High five. Gotta make sure he stands up. Stay up, buddy. Eh, eh. Fuck it. It's already starting to rain. Damn. So the good thing about a vest 
a reflective vest at least is that oh wow is that you can put it on over your jacket and you know be seen so if you have a black jacket and you're going to be riding at night or if you have a or you're going to be riding in the in the rain or something or you know conditions where it's going to be a little darker you know you can you can make sure to be seen you can make sure to be noticed a little bit better and any anything you can do to be noticed by you know people that are constantly texting constantly you know looking in other directions and stuff like that stuff that you can do to get them to notice is a lot better than you know just not being noticed it's or not taking any measures to to be noticed and that's kind of why i put a zombie baby on the back of my grom as well <laughs> <laughs> it's Halloween. It's time to, you know, get festive. And wheelie time. But yeah, this this vest is not just neon green. It's not Keith Grom green or yellow, highlighter yellow, whatever you want to call it. It also has reflective qualities to it as well. So like at night when you're riding, you're going to be noticed. You're going to be seen. At least I would hope you would be seen. I have to stop for a stop sign and then do wheelies because, you know, Grom life. So this mess, as I, see, as I said in the beginning, it has some, uh, some really good storage, you know, pockets for storage and stuff like that. And they're detachable. You can take them off. You don't have to, you know, have the pockets on there. This vest, I don't really have to do a real long ride or anything to prove or show any kind of quality which is another reason why I'm doing it on the Grom instead of the Daytona. Because like the leather vest is going to be used predominantly at higher speeds and whatnot. You know, Harleys and, and cruisers and stuff are going to use it mostly. Or maybe the stretch boosts and stuff who think they're not going to go down. <laughs> this vest, it's not really for... It's not necessarily for high speeds. And you don't even have to be a motorcycle... Uh, rider you don't have to be a biker in order to, to wear this vest you can use it if you're directing traffic or which is kind of what I feel like I should be doing uh, you can use it while you're you know working in construction job or or any job where you have to wear a reflective vest for the military people though this is what you would use you don't have to use your road guard vest or your belt or anything like that. You can use one of these and it'll be a little better, like a higher quality than the typical plastic coated bullshit that you wear and you get, like your PT vest and stuff, road guard vest. Ah! I don't even know, do they still use those anymore? This is a one-way street, so I can ride right here. Oh, that's super slippery. You know, it's almost like te Teener's uh, 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 Superman and off the back. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I'll fix it later. You know what? I did a review on the other Viking vest and I got caught in the rain. So what is it about Viking vests that get me caught in the rain? I'd like to know. <laughs> I can't do wheelies because the back tire just slides. <laughs> Alright, I gotta fix you. And I will try to fix you. You. All right, well that's the ride in the Viking Cycle reflective vest uh, or the reflective vest from Viking Cycle. It's nice. I mean, an unfortunate event happened yesterday, just yesterday as of, you know, recording this clip because this clip is three days, three separate days of three separate clips. One clip is from when I pulled it out of the package. Another clip is riding with it on another day and another day of this clip is few days later the quality it is mesh on the inside it's it's lightweight it's a textile material so it's going to breathe really well and it's I mean I don't have anything really bad to say about it other than you can't you sh probably shouldn't wear it riding just by itself if you're looking for protective gear um, other than that it's a really good vest um, you know it's really bright 
It's got the reflective on it, obviously, you know, right here. It's got some reflective on the back and then on the shoulders here. So it comes in really handy at night. You're really going to be able to see it at night. Uh, see, people are really going to be able to see you at night. And it's, it's going to help out a lot in that respect. Um, other than that, you know, it's really good. I'm working on, I'm still working on the coupon code from Viking Cycle. Uh, working on maybe they're uh, getting into their brand ambassador program and stuff to where, you know, I wear their stuff and they promote me, I promote them and they give me coupon code. And you all can save a few bucks by getting some Viking Cycle gear. So they've got, they've got jackets, they've got uh, vests, they've got chaps they've got mostly mostly leather stuff uh, I'm working on maybe getting one of their jackets they do have some gloves as well so link to their site is in the description below as well as right here you know it's vikingcycle.com uh, let's see um, vikingcycle.com there you go and then up here you know there's a little card thingy uh, the only reason I know it's up here is because I can see myself right there so Anyway, sorry this this review wasn't like super intense as far as like details and stuff, but it's a reflective vest. There's not much to really go into as far as detail. It is a brand new product from Viking Cycle. Yeah, it's a really good vest. It's not just for motorcycle riding. You know, you can use it for if you're a traffic guard. You can use it for you know if you have any need for a reflective vest. You can use it for that kind of stuff. It's it will meet whatever standards it needs to meet. Uh, the biggest thing that I can see useful for it is my military family, my military friends and all that stuff. Uh, you know, we, to ride on post, you have to have a helmet, gloves, boots, um, a few other items, but safety gear, as far as visuals, you have to have a vest. And this is perfect for it because with it being textile and everything, you can, crumple it up and stick it in a bag and then you can put your military ID right here and just be like yeah there you go so good to go so anyway that does it for this video that does it for this review I hope you all enjoyed it I hope you got some I guess some kind of insight or information on this um, it's gonna bother me if it's not on there right fucking OCD life bro but anyway that does it for this video i appreciate everybody watching appreciate all the love and support don't forget like comment subscribe share these videos out with all your family and friends and as usual i will see you guys online peace you running? should i do a giveaway for this Computer play.